There's one common thread to every case, and that is there is someone who's been accused and has their life on the line. Their freedom is at stake. Their families' entire lives could be turned upside down. And so knowing that someone's entrusted me with their lives, with their freedom, is a real motivator, because I care. And I feel a sense of pride that they've given me that trust, and it's not a trust that I ever want to betray. You know, you go through this, this experience with somebody, you tend to develop a bond. I like my clients, but I actually tend to, you know, find them to be interesting people, and people who are in a jam, and I like to help them. Uh, I don't think everybody has that attitude. I think a lot of people sort of take a very dim view of, you know, the accused. And that's not me. You need to have the respect of the judges and of the prosecutors and of the police and all the players in the game. If you don't, you're not going to be able to get the right results because the prosecutors won't work with you, the judges don't believe what you're saying, and no one takes you seriously. So having a good reputation as being a dedicated advocate, a lawyer who they can trust, a lawyer who's not going to misrepresent information in court is very important. The question I'm most often asked is, do you defend somebody even if you know they're guilty? And to me, it's the easiest answer in the world. The answer is yes. My job is not to be a judge, is not to be a juror. I am not allowed to decide my client's a bad guy, therefore I'm not going to do my best. On the contrary, I have a sworn oath to do my best in every case, no matter who the client is. So it doesn't matter to me what they're accused of. It doesn't matter to me what they did. I will always do my best for every client because that's my duty. And I take that very seriously.